Hey guys, so let's look at a program to display the squares of the numbers from 1 to n. So how am I going to visualize my output to look like? So let's say uh, n is equal to 6. So I want my output to look like the first one should be the square of 1, so 1. Next is 2 square, so 4. Then comes 3 square, 9. 4 square, 16. 5 square, 25. And 6 square, 36. I can display it in this format. Or if you want it, you could display it as um, square of 1 equals 1 square of 2 equals 4 square of 3 equals 9. This is one format. The other format you could write is 1 capo 2 is equal to 1, 2 capo 2 is equal to 4, 3, This it's the to the power of that symbol, power 2 is equal to 9, 4 capo 2 is equal to 16, this format. So there are different ways to display it. So all these will, dis will be uh, mattering only in a printf statement. So again, this is just a display program. Therefore, it is just printf statement. Now, we want our loop run to run from 1 to n. So let's say you have taken the value of n from the user already. So your loop is supposed to run from i equals 1 goes all the way till n i plus plus. So I'm going to first show you for this format where it is uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. In this case what you have to do is just write print f percentage d and I'm let's say I'm leaving a space of tab space. So tab space comma i asterisk i because the square of a number is the number multiplied with itself. I can do this. Now there's also one more way to do it where there comes a power function. Now the PWE function helps you to find the nth root of any number i when you write it as POW i comma n. So this helps you find the nth power of i. Got it? So there is one problem with this number, uh, with this function. I'll explain to you that in the code. Now POW function comes not under the stdio.h header file, comes under the math.h header file. So you have to make sure that you enter the math.h header file. And the other problem with this is POW function will return values in double data type not an int data type in double data type the arguments i and n is also double and the value that you get back is also double so whenever you use the pow function always make sure that the value that you want to print that want to print should not be percentage d it should be percentage lf to represent the doubles access specifier got it so this one uh, important thing you have to take care of. So uh, eventually when you print it, it would come it as printf percentage lf for double close and you put it as pow of i comma 2. This is just a replacement of this statement done over here. Now if you wanted to display in this format square of 1 equals 1 square of 2 equals 2. You could do it as for i starts from 1, i goes all the way up till n, the power you want to find, i plus plus, and print it in the exact format. Square of the value should come here. So put percentage d equals a value should come here. So put percentage d. Now what should come in the first one? This value of i. What should come in the second place? The value of the square. So i into i. This will give you the value. If you were to print in this format, okay, you would write it as for i equals 1, 
i less than or equal to n i plus plus. So the format is a value, the capo symbol, the next value equals a value. Okay, but we see this repeats as two the whole time. Two is being repeated here the entire time. So need not put percentage d over here you can directly put 2 okay and the first one is the value of i the each number whose square you want to find so put i the next one is this actual value of the square so put i into i in each of these at this point you have to change it to percentage lf if you are writing the pow function here here also you have to change it to lf if you are writing the pow function here. We will explore all these versions in the code. So moving to the coding part of printing the squares and numbers from 1 to n. So we would write the loop part for i starts from 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. And I'll just be printing the square, just percentage D, lever tab space, and my value should be I asterisk I. So for this, I need int I comma N. I need to ask the user to enter the value of N. Scan F percentage D ampersand n and yes i'll be printing so let's see if it works enter n5 it enters 1491625 now let's see the pow uh, pow function now of how it works now let's see without the uh, changing the data type pow of i comma so when they run it, it says that line number 17, which is this line, uh, the value expected is an integer, but the argument is of double. That means I have to change this. So percentage LF. LF is what I changed to. Oh, percentage LF. Now I'll run the program. Enter N5. Now I am getting so many digits after the decimal points because LF is a double data type. Double data type by default adds the zeros after the decimal points. So most of my squares right now I have taken I will be a perfect square because my I is also of integer data type. So what I can do here is I will enter point 0 here. Point 0. You write point followed by any number. What number you write? that many digits will be displayed after the decimal point. You write point 2, two digits will be displayed after the decimal point. You write point 0, zero digits will be dis displayed after the decimal point. So if I run this once again, enter n is 5 and I am supposed to get the values. Now we will change the format of how we want to display, like suppose we want to display a square of 1 equals 1. So square of the value percentage d is equal to uh, this value I'm going to write and the first value should be i, second value should be the pow function. So once I run this, enter n should come, let's say if I put 5 and it would come in this format. I'll just change this to slash n and run it once again and to end 5 and the value comes square of 1 is equal to 1, square of 2 is equal to 4, square of 3 is equal to 9. You can do the same by changing this to percentage d and changing this to i asterisk i as well. Got it? Now if you want to display in the uh, one to the power of 2 is equal to 1, 
2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. We will just change over here. The first one is the value of i. So it's percentage d. And then comes the capo symbol. This is shift 6 and 2 is equal to then comes another value percentage d. So the first one is i. The second one is i comma i. And after that slash n. Yes. So running the program. Enter n5. Yeah, it is displayed in this format. If you want to change this to the POW function, just change this to 0 0.0 LF and move here and write POW of I comma 2. So we'll run the program. Enter N5, press enter and it has printed the value to 5. Thank you.